Hello everyone, I'm Extra She's 87 and this is Let's Play Trails in Every Part 32. In the previous video, we arrived in Crossbell with Rufus's crew and we were talking to the people of the city, getting the lay of the land. We pretty much we have to do East Street, then maybe the Harbor District if they let us go there, and then we're supposed to be going to the Admin District, which we will eventually do, maybe. The conduct of East Street's merchants concerns me. We can't afford anything less than for us to come together and act as one now. Or else. And if someone feels otherwise, then they ought to give the Supreme Leader's speech a good long watch. I mean, listen. Well, yeah, probably... Well, I don't know if the words are what brainwash people or if it's seeing the lady dance. I guess maybe it's seeing the lady dance. That makes more sense. But what if you're blind? Hmm, really makes you think. What if you're blind and deaf? How will they control you then? Or is it just a sort of magic aura that pervades the air? I want to win and play, but Roy says I can't wait now. I have to be patient. That's okay. I like cleaning the stall. That's, that's fun. Yep, that's definitely something a, a real six-year-old says. I love cleaning and doing menial labor. They brainwashed you, girly. They're not even paying you, man. You're unpaid labor. This is a huge workers' rights violation. You're all going to prison. We're taking you all in, Chairman Moores. See my fair share of situations over the years, but even I have to say that these things are especially unstable right now. Nevertheless, I always do everything that I possibly can, no matter the circumstances, for both the BOA and my family. Right now, I'm amassing supplies, just in case the absolute worst comes to pass and we need them later. Like, I feel like, at the very least, the girl should be getting, like, full wages. Even if you don't, like, let her spend them right now. You're, you're running a damn child labor sweatshop. You're the real villain as far as I'm concerned. When you think about it, doesn't it feel absurd that life is going home like normal despite everything happening here? In a lot of ways, the situation feels even more precarious than when we declared independence. Gotta keep a real close eye on Mei Ling so she doesn't get herself in any trouble. Nah, I mean, I feel like the independence was definitely worse considering Crossbell declared essentially open war on the two major powers, blew up all their stuff, uh, had nukes launched at them, there was a giant force field around the city meaning nobody could leave, there were literal ghost monsters roaming the streets. That felt worse, IMO. But, you know, what do I know? Hey, uh, what about you guys? All our trade routes are being controlled under martial law. It's been heck and a half. All I want in life is to make people veg evangelists, but I can't do a thing right now. Veg evangelists. That's a, that's a, that's a word and a half right there. That's freaking out a lot of what's happening right now, but personally, the whole United Nation or Crossbell idea seems kind of far-fetched to me. I mean, true, true, that's pretty true. Yeah, true. There were some parts about the Supreme Leader's speech I thought were a bit too radical. But if he's fighting to protect the peace, then I'm sure he means it for the best, yes. People who declare an armed coup are always about the peace. It's not like they shot the previous head of government essentially or nothing. Or the closest thing to the head of government. Honestly, we're one step away from this is our own state anyway. Maybe it's for the best we do things his way. Notice the suspending operations. The crossbow branch will be temporarily closed until further notice. Well, I guess that makes sense. I figured it'd be closed, as did I. I'm sure its members will still be keeping themselves plenty occupied, however. Yeah, Arios, where the hell are you? Are you doing your villain arc again? Because I, cause I, I was an Arios defender at the end of Azur, kind of. I mean, not, not actually in the Let's Play, but like after beating the game and thinking about it, I became a bit of an Arios defender. But if he has a villain arc again, um, it's over. 
he, he's on thin fucking ice, especially since they didn't actually have any consequences for him whatsoever, which is something that I think is really disappointing. I mean, I'm not saying he, he didn't, didn't even need to, like, go to a prison or anything. I think just the idea of him being kicked out of the Bracer Guild would have been something. Even if it's just, the, I mean, I think I mentioned this at the start of the Let's Play, that, like, you know, he's, he's unofficially, like, still doing what are essentially Bracer Guild jobs, like, but he's just doing it on his own, as his own form of repentance, as opposed to, like, the Bracer Guild just not really caring that he was involved in a murder conspiracy and tried to overthrow a state, basically. I just feel like it's not a good look for them. I mean, granted, you know, they recruit, like, child soldiers and whatnot, so... I guess they don't really care that much about your past, but... You folks look like you have some pretty interesting stories. Look at your panties and advice. I'm not gonna pry. I don't know what's going on in my life. You four can have a look around. Wait, did she say four? Oh, P, you gotta keep it down. I guess it's too late for that. Who do you think you're fooling? I almost feel bad for you. Sounds like you're even subtle. I don't think you're getting very far. You're really tearing into us. Ah, think about it. Did the sign of that storefront say... Correct. This is Nine Volley's main store. Jingo would be her daughter. Nine Volley is one of the few businesses that call my attention as Governor General. Certainly seems to have its uses. Was the other one the noodle stand? Is that why you made him change his frickin' noodle recipe? Because the people at Crossfield were getting too, too jacked? But here you are, still covering your rear end. You're a piece of work. What are you talking about? Someone explain it to me. Can y'all knock it off with the whispering? Wrap it up. Kind of run a business here. Either buy some or get out. Literally nobody's ever in the store. Y yes, ma'am. This is a point. Stores like this are more of our style. We should probably stock up over here. Anything in the damn bargain bin? Nope. Anything I can trade in? Nope. Need a midnight blue gown. Five dyed woven sandals. Kunai with chain. Could make some dang cozy socks. Ooh, they are some cozy socks, man. You don't even know. Six CP per turn. What the hell? What the? At least this one's only three as opposed to four. It's still six CP per turn. That's crazy. That's crazy. Luster. Oh, that's that's really good. Assuming it works. If it works, it's really good. I can't remember. I feel like because you know the first CS one worked like this, where the statuses only last for one turn. Which I don't really know if that's a, if that's like a difficulty thing because it it doesn't say the statuses only last for one turn. Uh, I mean, all the stat down stuff say multiple turns on them, but they only last for the one turn. I, I guess that's a difficulty thing, or all the text is wrong. I don't know, but I know CS1 worked like, like that, at least in the difficulty mod, and I can't remember if the extra status actually worked. I feel like it didn't, because it'd probably be like 2 OP with the way the game was like designed around statuses were very strong, but they only lasted for the one turn like stat downs and stuff like a lot of enemies were pretty susceptible to stat down but you only had it for the one turn there's the sweet smell coming from I think that was the reason burn was so OP. can we go <sighs> if you children could gather intelligence instead of food that would better serve our needs yeah s Quit being so lazy. Yeah, S. Uh, hey! What's the plan here, Roos? We still got enough uh, vanilla Yubushia to, to, uh, to make a man mountain. We're barely getting any customers. Thank you, so we're gonna go to business. Good point. There's no way we can eat all this before it goes bad, either. I don't know. Maybe Ashley will have some ideas. Actually, Roos, I might have one. What if uh, all we can do is throw it out? Why not give it out instead for free? You nuts, where's the profit in? 
Who am I kidding? We're on the brink of shutting our doors for good. Bruce, we ain't even got any doors. Actually, wait, you're Bruce. Uh, actually, no, yeah, right, yeah, that made sense. Because it's me, other guy who's talking, whose name I definitely know. Not Bruce, but the other one. Who's the other one? Puck. I knew that. The fairy dragon. The least we can do is brighten up a few people's days with food before we go. It's a great idea, Puck. Let's do it. I'm glad you're up for it. Up for it? I said we start right now. We can hit some of the locals on East Street. Does that mean I get something free? Oh, no, I have to pay? Yeah, all right, cool. Don't give anything to the needy orphan children or whatever. Little assholes. Give, give me free stuff. I think it's one of the Uptown District. Correct, it was redeveloped during an imperial occupation to give its officers a place to live. Most of them moved back to the Empire, of course, even the majority of its properties up for sale. Weird to think the ringleader behind it all is standing right here. Probably skip it if we don't want to run into the EDF. No better spot for them to hang out than the Imperial District. But look at it. Look at those barrels. Those used to be my barrels. I knew them so well. Remember when we had to scan every inch of the damn district for the stupid metal detector quest? I need a crossbow. I don't like the sound of it. A lot of interesting customers in the city. That makes it worthwhile to keep cooking up new dishes. Most importantly, Shan Shan smiles more than ever since we moved here. She's made good friends. Which is that's why Crossfell became the strongest nation on the continent under the Supreme. No, they got freaking. They got. They got uh, Master Chef. Well, this country becomes strong and resilient, like the darkness and the dancer's performance. See, that's just unbelievable. Like, I, I don't buy that this, this man got mind controlled. Mm mm. It's, it's unlikely. Rewrite it. Now. I wonder what's gotten into the owner. He's never struck me as the kind of man who would see something and see anything that's someone like the Supreme Leader. I was just feeling uneasy because Shan Shan's missing. Can't say I'm blame him. So some dragon fried rice. You're telling me a dragon fried this rice? Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. Well, has he got the has he got the hands to work the dang utensils? I mean, at least he can fry it. I feel like I might over fry it. What the, what the, and what if it's not a fire dragon? What if it's like another dragon? Wow, that's one enormous picture of a fish. What exactly is it? Why do they have it hanging here like it's such a big deal? This is what they call a fish sprint. It is pretty impressive. It's impressive to look at, I've got to admit. Learn something new every day. It's essentially a way to leave an imprint of the fish you caught on paper. It's our first time seeing one up close as well. Given its prominence, I think it's safe to assume this must be a fishing shop. That's right, didn't you guys just start learning how to fish? I never realized it was possible to catch fish this big. How cool. Do you think I can learn how to fish? I'd love to give it a try. I mean, why not? I don't know, you're pretty tiny, LP. Some of those big catches might give you a hard time out there. She wields a giant battle axe. I wouldn't quit your day job if you ask me. The fish would be the ones really... She wields a giant battle axe. She's obviously not... She has greater strength. Plus, you're all enhanced by magic rocks. One's physical stature does not in any way correlate to your physical strength in this universe if you have the magic rocks. And she's got the magic rocks. Aw, oh, come on. You guys know full well how strong I am. I can handle fish that big. No problem. Whoa, we got customers. It don't look like we're at the Evan Defense Force. Whew, that's a relief. You folks seem pretty young, but I can tell the two of you in the back have got a zeal for fishing, eh? We've literally never done it. Truth be told, the Fisherman's Guild has a lot going on right now. Hate to say it, but we ain't an active operation right now. In fact, all of our members got separated. I managed to make it back here in one piece, but as for the others, well... I still can't just leave a couple of fervent fellow fishers out to dry when they've gone to the trouble of coming here. No, it should be fervent fellow fishers out to fry. For all the Fs. Tell you what, I'll go ahead and sell you kids' fishing equipment. If you need anything, let me know and I'll hook you up. Get it? Hook you up? Hook? Like a fishing hook? You're not laughing. That's so kind of you, sir. Thank you so much. Sounds like you've really been in the, been through the ringer lately. If you don't mind, then I think we'll take some time to look around for a while. I guess you don't mind anyway. Well, yeah, see, this guy could be a source of some valuable intel. Not at all. It's, it's a perfectly wise decision. Is that a damn ghost talking? Who the hell said that? Unindoctrinated civilians appear to be few and far between these days. The more we can use to our advantage, the better. 
I mean, I know I look evil and all, cause I always got my face like I'm scheming, looking like I'm thinking of some damn schemes. But I'm not. I'm a good. I'm a good, good guy. I was in Armonico for a while, so this whole deal is rubbing me the wrong way. Now that I've seen, seen it for myself, what's everyone's gonna buckle those EDF goons with open arms? What's going on here? Only makes it easier for them to focus on catching rebels that flood the city. Getting back in the city was no easy feat, let me tell you. Yeah, how did you do it? I'm worried about how the other members are holding up. They could be anywhere. That's not good. You think they're keeping a close eye on all the exits out of town? They don't seem to be concerned about the mountain path, at least. But we should still be careful. Do I have any fish? No? Alright, cool. See ya. Sure, we'll buy a dang custom handle. Only one of our members has managed to come back. The way people act in the city, I'm glad I didn't bring Salem with me. Hope the others are alright. Alright, see ya. Okay, just a KC apartment, and we're ready to go with that. I talked to Fish Lady. Ah, uh, East Street's supposed to have gotten its groove back, but it sure feels dire here to me. Why is it only one thing after another? I want my normal life back! We're still missing a pecky. You sell the pecky? Mm, a pecky? I've already bought your pecky. Be gone. You're of no use to me. Oh. The apartments are popping. I'll be okay, Serena. There's still hope left, I promise. Don't forget, we made it through the EDF and their whole siege. We just have to be strong and make the best of things, okay? Yeah, where the hell is Noel? I need her ages, all right? It's very important that she gives me that shit back. You're right. Thanks, Clarice. Azel and Yugon aren't giving up either. They're trying their best, too. I've got to pull myself together. Uh, you be careful out there, too, Clarice. Please. Look after Azel and the others. Make sure they stay safe during all the underground stuff. Don't worry, they're in good hands with me. From what Noel and the others tell me, they know their way around things just fine. Okay, so wait, Azel's helping us? Gotta set up my game and help how I can, whether it's with people's daily needs or gathering intel around the neighborhood. Azel's so amazing. No matter how hard things get, he never gives up. He faces his troubles head on. Or with like a slingshot or whatever. I don't know if, any, if there's anything I can do, but at least I can cheer him on. I'm my best to warn folks to be careful so they don't have any more people lose their minds than we already have. Find anyone you think needs to flee underground. Let me know so I can figure out what to do, okay? Hello, we are children. Wherever they are, I'm sure Noel and Fran are out there giving it everything they have, everything they've got. All the more reason for me to do my part from here on, however I can. However you got, uh, I don't know. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you're a Zell. Things are looking pretty dice the way things are headed, aren't they? Yeah, more and more people are losing their minds while I'm, where I'm working. It's hard to just stand by and watch it all happen. We got to move forward with that plan they devised with Wendy. What other choice do we have? Like, not yet. First, we need to figure out what the holes there are in the EDF's patrol routes. Who's there? Ah, just a bunch of kids. You guys lost to some? You know, like you live in this apartment building. Golly, us. We're just walking around talking about how scary all the grown ups are acting lately. And then before we knew it, someone wandered past our building. <laughs> That's all. You guys had a scare for a minute. Thought you were some of those child spies. These kids seem legit. I wouldn't worry about them. Just be careful and head home before you hear me. Uh, sure thing. Sorry for the commotion. Will do. Too easy. I got full of these chumps in my sleep. Question mark? Situation was it is. I'm sure watching this is just to make a move. Even if they're not in town right now. I don't know if I should be saying this out loud. All we can do is try, and make, try our best to make things better in the meantime. If Wall were here, what would he do? I don't know, destroy a district, probably kill people off screen. Even Wendy and that girl from Mark and CL, Clarice are working together now. Although I think it's fair to say that things have been a little bit delicate between the two of them. You give us a little space, we're talking about kind of complicated stuff over here. You guys be careful, okay? Don't stay out too late, go home when it's safe. Well, be a good girl. Doubt. Doubt. What are y'all up to? Gotta admit, the Supreme Leader does have a point. Uh, hell, I do. When things were wonderful across the the center of Zemuria. Yeah, what if we were all billionaires? Listen to me, Creole. That would bring nothing but more conflict with the other countries again. If that happened, it's possible I'll be drafted again. Have to move away from our family. Nobody wants that, right? We all be so lonely without each other. 
What? Yeah, you're right. What was I even thinking? What a terrible thing that would be. Can't even bear the thought of us being separated again. Promise me, Bond. Promise me you'll always stay with us, with your family, okay? Of course. I wouldn't dream of spending my life any other way. Now I'm gonna eat this entire head of cabbage. And some... Presumably carrots. The jury is still out. Mother's been acting so weird lately. Sometimes she says she doesn't trust the Supreme Leader. Other times she says he's the perfect man to guide us. It's very odd. I might just be a kid, but even I know when something bad's going on. You know, that father can be home with us, though. I'm not so worried about her. He says that his business hours at work would change, so he can spend more time with all of us. He only got fired. I'm sure everything's going to be alright with him. Right, Marie? Uh, meow. I'm a cat. I have no understanding of, uh, complex geopolitical situations. When are we going to Nord? I want to go to Nord. The conduct of East Street's merchants concerns me. They can't afford anything less than for us to come together and act as- I already talked to you. You're not Nord. Think we can go in here? I'm not mistaken, this is. The branch office of the largest syndicate in the East. Hey, anyway, isn't that right? I'd rather not pay them a cur courtesy visit. I hear they're in league with my imposter. We should stay clear of them. I don't know what the big deal is. Hey, you like, huh? I don't like it. I got that name 45 points. That's how many points Rufus should have got. Actually, 43 points. That's the most Rufus should have gotten. Man, it gets old feeling the HDF stare daggers into me. It's hard to stay motivated with how much they've hampered my work. Maybe I should get a can of coffee to help me kick back out of this rut. Can of coffee and I'll be all right. Man, the Supreme Leader really is something. What a speech. That's right, you should watch or at all about his glory. I plan to. Uh, who is? Ah, oh, you're just a kid. Hey, it's dangerous out here. You should stay inside. Duly noted. Thanks for the tip. Shame we can't contact anyone on the outside, but that's all the more reason to do everything in power from here. Since Grace isn't breathing down my neck this time, maybe I should take this chance to get some real work done. Zoom! That group has a really interesting dynamic. Is it just me, or weren't there actually four of them? Hmm. The news service is the best way to relay the Supreme Leader's power to the citizens. We're willing to cooperate with their coverage so long as that doesn't get in the way of our work. <laughs> get back here. The tires that make deliveries have been seriously cut through all the inspections the EDF has been demanding. It sucks. Ah, that means I don't have time to be standing around like this. <laughs> what do you think Bishop speeds that is? Like, it's at least, like, close to four digits, right? We should be able to fish here. Damn right, damn right. Gotcha. Incredible. It's got, heft. it's got heft. You hear that? It's got heft. It's a good size. No, it's not. It's embarrassing. Stop showing the fish to me, Swin. Gotcha. Oh it's got god. Heft. He does not have heft. It's a little tiny baby fish. At least I reeled it in. Alright, one more. Gotcha. That sucks. Uh, okay, well that one doesn't count. Gotcha. It's got heft. It does not have heft. It's a good size. How shall we play? Let's see, can swim? Uh, not swim. Nadia beat swim. Fishy. You're like flopping. Blown out. Record destroyed immediately. Swin. Blown the fuck out. Crossbell keep out. No. See, we should go in there and then access the sewers, and then we can come out in the residential district. Eventually, or something. That that talk to you? Curfew doesn't officially begin until after sundown, so it's pleasing to see the citizens going out as little as possible. Please me from expending additional energy while patrolling. I hate doing my job. I mean, glory to the Supreme Leader. They must be on patrol. At least those bands are- Bands are? Pains are sold out, so you've heard about? I'm shocked to see them employed in a city. All the more reason not to get into a fight with any one of those things. Sold outs or not, we can uh, not afford to be spotted by the enemy. Let's put some distance between us. Ah, yeah, we can take them. 
I'm impressed at how far you've come. Well done, Koki. I can feel your soul swirling with the noodles in this bowl. But for real? Yes, you did well to persevere through these troubled times. It's unfortunate that we have no customers to test your skills upon. Nevertheless, I hereby pass on to you the beginner rank of the Ozzel School of Noodles. Continue to push forward in your training. Only beginner rank? Man's been making noodles for like some time now. What is that stuff? I want to try some. I totally know what you mean, but we have to save it for later. Absolutely not. We were buying some damn noodles. Even though they ner they nerfed him even more. They weren't content. New Rufus came in and said, holy shit, these noodles are too fire. Even in their, their not as pog form. Cut the ingredients. He can't have salt anymore. No spices. Just water and noodles. That's all he gets, and he still can make something pretty good because he's the lord of the noodle. There are many imitators, but there's only one true lord. All hail his noodly goodness. So that's a supreme leader, huh? From a distance, he really does look exactly like our Rufus, other than his haircut. You struggle to tear them apart. Is the haircut different? Yeah, maybe. Oh god. He's got a he's got a high perception, man. She does a cover bone? Does anyone have Heyoy's top brass? Can't take any chances. We must move it once. What's he gonna do, man? He got his ass beat. I think we're good now. We should be able to get it to the entertainment district up ahead from now. Is it just me? Are there a lot of people here? It isn't just you. I'll have to take proper precautions. Wow, some crowd, huh? You must be watching whatever's on the screen. It's your fake, boss. It appears to be a recording. As you well know, Western Zemuria is in a lamentable state. Jirai and North Ambria have become frequent targets of terrorism, and racial conflict remains rife throughout the Calvert Republic. Evil is no longer a seedling to be uprooted with ease. It has bloomed and dispersed corruption across the entire continent. Yet all hope is not lost. I ask that you remember the ideals of the late Blood and Iron Chancellor, Giliath Osborne. Mm, maybe we shouldn't. He understood that if we could not eradicate evil in parts, that we must then be united as a whole through armed might. If we forego a unified system to divide and allocate our resources where they are best needed, we will never know true peace. That is why I, Rufus Alborea, the successor to His Excellency's legacy, have vowed to bring our many great nations together. We cannot let evil continue to sow its seeds. We must fight back for the sake of humanity's future, for the sake of our world's future. Because definitely the guy who did an armed coup understands good and righteousness and will totally do good things with his power 100 percent and should any neighboring country to which i extend this warm invitation refuse they will receive due judgment for their arrogance this is just crazy no two ways about it boss is crazy for wanting to stop him no two ways about it times two I'll take that as a compliment. What's he talking about? Hiding as a whole? Forcing it through our might's no better than terrorism. Based? Based? Holy shit, he's based? They don't cross billions are pushing back. Surprised, I figured they'd make quick work of anyone speaking ill of them. Look, guess the channel's changed. Leah Platier from Mark and CO. This one looks like a live feed. Oh no. Anime Booba's too strong. They can't resist. 
Ah, uh, evilness. It's seeping into me. It turns out the true evil all along was the horniness. The horniness was the true evil in the Trail series. Oh no! <laughs> He's right. If we just keep waiting for peace to happen, it'll never come. Crossbell is the economic hub of Zemuria. Our job is to lead and pave the way for the rest of the world. Every word of Supreme Leader Rufus he said rings true. It's the very symbol of hope for our future. Hmm, I'm these heels making me uncomfortable. Say Nadia. Huh. Um, Rufus, why are you just standing there? I'm bored. Let's go somewhere else, please. Rufus! Rufus, are you listening? Oh no, Lapis is the only one immune from the horniness. Swin, Nadia, why are you talking? Are you believing me? Huh? Wait, Rufus! Nadia, Swin! Bonk him! Bonk him! What's going on? Precuria. It's just a status? We just need an accessory on everyone? Uh, Over okay. here. I was like, I didn't really recognize the voice. Like, I, I recognize the voice, but like, not in this game. Because the first thing that popped in my head would have been Emma, you know, casting a magic Healy spell, but that wasn't her voice. Whoa! Check out all the dolls. It's LP as far as the eye can see. Hm. I'll thank you to remember that I'm a Rosenberg doll. I'm in a different league compared to those garden variety specimens. And yet, some of these were in fact made by the studio of which you speak. Really? Oh, you're right. This perfectly sculpted masterpiece is unmistakably a Rosenberg. You have our thanks. Now, would you prefer Angel of Slaughter or Ren Bright? Well, I mean, you know the answer, you little asshole. Call me whatever you like, Jade Rook. I suspected something wasn't right about our new supreme leader. And seeing you explains why. I've heard you were an astute one. And you Actually, I'm not, not even disappointed. Is, is, I don't even really remember what Rin's voice actor was in CS4. I can't tell if it's the same or not. I mean, presumably it's the same, but it actually doesn't sound familiar. Someone you know? I mean, she didn't talk that much in CS4, but... Not on a personal level, no. But we are familiar with one another's backgrounds. I honestly didn't expect to meet you quite like this. Though, truth be told... My interest is mostly in her. You're associated with your Grosenberg, if I'm not mistaken. She is? Did a lot for me in the past. I guess you're the same as us then. Yeah, pretty much. So it seems. My name's Ren Bright, and since fate has brought us together, let's say we make the most of it. You're a friend of the Meister. I suppose you're bound to meet eventually. Name's Swin. And I'm Nadia. I have a feeling you and I are going to be two peas in a pod. Yeah, I mean, Nadia is just a, a new Ren, basically. They're, they're very similar characters. What a coincidence. I was thinking the same thing. Probably have the same vibe. It's would be heartwarming if it wasn't borderline chilling. Incidentally, if I may ask. Since you're aware of her existence, might you have something heard something about her from the Me Meister? Not as much as you like to hope it, I'm afraid. He contacted me a short while ago. All he mentioned that she exists. He also asked me to help her if she ever needed it. Do you know anything about her background then? Afraid not. Sorry to disappoint you. 
And our objective remains unchanged. So you should make for the Rosenberg Studio. Well, that's where you're heading? Then might I join you? Yes. I haven't been there for some time, but it seems like it seems to have been occupied by someone especially unpleasant. I was thinking of giving the place a little spring cleaning, but that's a bit too much for me to handle alone. Then we would be glad to have you as our guide. I wonder what Jingo would say if she knew we had another kid to our pic picnicking group. Welcome to the Imperial Picnicking Front! <laughs> Ren? That is not our name. Before we depart, there's one thing we should confirm. Yeah, I don't want to run any trouble like we did earlier. What did we witness in the entertainment district when you came to save us? It's a form of mind control employed by the Supreme Leader. Seriously? Are he's brainwashing people? The principle is similar, but it works somewhat differently. It can be used across a wide area and the effects are cumulative. I was able to save you with orbital arts earlier because its effects hadn't fully set in yet. But the residents of Crosso have been exposed to it multiple times won't be easy to save. And the weapon bringing about this form of mind control is Ilya Platier's dance? It seems, although I still don't know exactly how it all works. But alas, now the fallen sun princess casts shadows over everyone's hearts like that of an eclipse. Call the eclipse dancer. That's fine. That's okay. So that's how they're able to keep the people in control, despite how they forcefully took over Crossbow. Hope our X is okay. Regardless, I think we've established it is not something we are capable of countering at the present. Let us be off. LP, time to mosey. Just a minute. If you don't hurry up, we're going to sell you to the shop. You'll be stuck in a display case, unable to move just like those dolls. There'll be no more walking, talking, or yummy desserts for you ever again. I'm coming, I'm coming. Big meanie. Where, yeah, I was wondering where Lady was. Well, well, are those customers I spy? I was wondering if she was just behind the counter the whole time. <laughs> what a peculiar bunch you are. Oh, damn, he's fast. When'd you put that on? I thought it was broken. Fixed it. I always carry a spare. <laughs> You're having just the right time. I'm about to get going. Thank you for taking care of me these past few days. Think nothing of it, dearie. Why are you headed off with these people then? That's right. I can tell you're in for quite a hoot. <laughs> no doubt. Stars above. I see that old man made himself a new model. Um, Just look at how expressive she is. This woman scares me. I'm impressed you're able to tell she's a Rosenberg so quickly. <laughs> I couldn't convince you to part with her, could I? I'll make it more than worth your while. You won't regret it. I, that's basically human trafficking. How much are you talking? Gosh, now I'm tempted. How could you even think of selling me? I mean, drop the act now, Nadia. I'm afraid she's not for sale now. We have need for her otherwise. I'm saying that's a shame. Well, I'm often still saying, so you ever change your mind? Time to make way for the mains mountain path. What a fun little gadget this is. Snag one for yourself during last year's spy debacle, I'm guessing. Correct. Never miss a beat, do you? On guard. On guard, exactly. Alright, uh, who's getting benched? Probably Lapis. Sorry, you just seem kind of meh. I mean, your your craft is okay. Your, your buff craft, right? Using magic is neat. The problem, I feel, is that a small buff feels really bad. Because, like, mediums, at least you can combo that with, you know, any of the Brave Orders, and then you're maxed out. But with small, you have to do it, like, you know, two times in a row, potentially. I don't know. What do you, what exactly do you say you do here, Ren? This is new. See, medium restores BP? Bro, fog. Using a code created to oppose none other than the Astral Code. And you have Accelerate. With cast time. Oh my god. Alright, maybe now. C Squad is strong now that they have the power of Rin. What do you do? Do you have Art Support Auto Curia? 
Okay, so I mean, we could, now that we have two casters, pivot to doing more magic with Rufus, but... I think we're gonna kinda keep him as... I don't know, whatever the hell he is. All recreational facilities in the district are prohibited from opening. Isn't that indulging in fun at a time like this could steer people away from their patriotic duties? I'm like I'm harder for cash, so it's fine if I can't make bank now, but still, seeing the frown on a customer's face and I tell them we're shut down is the worst part of my day. That's it, that's part of the mind control. You don't let people have their horny release at the local, you know, watering holes. So then they're they're primed and ready for the booba dance. <laughs> Oh yeah, what are, what are your ornaments? You have Titania, which is good, quite good. You get you get the EP region, and then the AT delay after Mirage is pretty good. And Vega's fine as a sub. Probably give you Titania just because we do have kind of mana issues with you. We'll probably give you a an extra Fortuna so that you can both Fortuna, Rin and Nadia, who will be our main damage dealers. Hopefully. Can't open anything right now here on paper. That is wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Of course, we'll be in a big file of trouble. The EDF finds out. So try to keep that fun fact to yourself. Who am I talking to? My turn now. Fortunately, even the Evan Defense Force doesn't have the resources to keep an eye on every nook and cranny in the city. On the other hand, the Supreme Leader just keeps getting more and more popular, both in the city and on the Orville Network. But only a matter of time for the back alleys calling with the supporters. Impromptu potato salad. Club Archive is still secretly open for business, even though we said we're going on indefinite hiatus. The problem is more and more people are starting to stitch the EDF, so it might not be too long for the jig is up. I'm having good old-fashioned fun. Things are miserable around here these days. People are getting turned into the EDF more and more lately, so it might only be a matter of time for my club gets found out. Quite a number of foreign tourists got caught up in the operation. I feel bad for them. They'll have to stay at their hotels for the time being. That's why I'm here to make sure they don't come and go without our okay. Can I come and go without your okay? The United Nation of Crossbows requisitioned this hotel. None may enter without permission. What if I was invisible? Almost as many people in the entertainment district as there are in Central Square. All the more reason we can't skip on security. Ready? Shall we Come on, what if we were invisible? You know, I should have crossed those records in this hotel. No, man. My turn now. Come on, we could all. I guess Rin can't turn invisible. Presumably, we only have the four invisibilities, but. That mask Ilias Wayne really suits her. She's great as a fervent dancer in the Sun Princess, but the Duskin Dancer is that little extra something. She's trying to create a flavor based on Ilias' current act. A betrayal ice cream. I don't know how many times I see Ilya since her debut as the Duskin Dancer. I can't get over it. She had the game big time before any of us even had time to catch our breath. It's like to say it out loud, but it makes sense that she was the only one in our concealed chosen to represent the nation. Yeah, she's worked her tail off to hog the spotlight. We still have a chance, okay? United Nation hasn't been officially founded yet, so the Prime Leader can still change his mind. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'll show all the mysterious songstress bewitching darkness that ensnares the heart. How pitiable. None of them appear in their right mind. Lady Ilya stands in support of the Supreme Leader. There are fans, fans standing in support of him with, with her too. Glory to Lady Ilya! Glory to Arkansas! Glory to Supreme Leader Rufus! Hello? Lady Ilya is so dangerous in that dark outfit. I just can't stop staring when I see her. Oh, hey, yes, Mar, it's gonna melt. Frank of the Cross Belly to me thinks it's a damn shame Arkansas doesn't have any performances lined up. At least we got the Duskin Dancer show to look, to look forward to. You've seen her dance, right? It's like nothing else in Zemuria. Oh, I almost can't wait to see her again in the privacy of my own home 
and nobody else is around. Oh man, the things we'll do. Ilya Stance has such a captivating air to it, don't you think? And the Supreme Leader has so much more, so much charisma during his speeches. People like them representing us makes me proud to be a Crossbellion. It's kind of embarrassing for fake Rufus. He had to use mind control to, to take over Crossbelt. Like, Dieter didn't need to use mind control. And he was like the third string villain of Azur at the end of the day. So that's that's kind of cringe for you, fake Rufus. I mean, he was able to summon ghosts in the streets and nobody could leave their homes. And there were still some people that were like, I think Dieter's okay. I mean, like, yeah, I know I can't go outside or else the giant golem will eat me. But like, I think he's got a good head on his shoulders. <laughs> now is the time to gamble. Now is the time for us to come together as one. Our neighboring countries ought to hurry and accept the Supreme Leader's proposal sooner rather than later. Bro, that's how you, that, that's not a winning move. That's how you get people rioting. Can't gamble? What the hell? Maybe the Supreme Leader guy uh, doesn't know what he's talking about. All right, mountain me. Now, like, I know Rosenberg Studio is before Mines, but what if we just kept going just, like, a little bit? There are monsters wandering around, but... I think we can take our chances. We can, yes, but what about you? Uh, is she stronger than God? No, <laughs> you needn't worry about me. I've got my weapon right here. Wow, that's so neat! Why, thank you. Use a scythe, huh? What a peculiar choice. It's simple design, but it's how difficult it is to wield. I can use most weapons, sure, but this one's how I always had my heart. Because it's neat? Because it's perfect for slicing off heads? Ah! No, indeed. I'm just joking. Not because she picked her weapon when she was like seven years old and going through her edgy phase. The more I get to know you, the more I think we're going to be the best of friends. I'm like it if you didn't bomb with her over beheading people. By the way, are you familiar with United Fronts? Can't say that I am. We don't need the United Fronts tutorial. We, we've already had it twice. Not either. Is that unusual? Is it unusual that we don't? It's still in the early stage of development, so not really. It's a new Orcus 2 feature that lets five more people work together. I might have heard something about that once. Those students have better teamwork than I gave them credit for, so I've been wondering if there was more to it. You know, when they uh, obliterated you off the face of the damn planet? With <laughs> like four S crafts? <laughs> you're like, what the hell, man? This is bullshit. They just instantly fucking blew me up, man. It was like a buffed up version of Combat Links. You hit the nail on the head, even the fact that those students were using it. It does have its limitations, like how only those who shared a certain connection at the end of the Twilight can use it. I am, however, in one of those people, so you might be able to pull it off as long as I'm around. How promising. Worth the attempt in any attempt? I agree, there are exactly five of us here, so there's no reason not to next time something tries to play nasty with us. Sounds like a plan to me. How could you, Nadia? How did you think to sell me off to that woman? Oh, how couldn't I when your cuteness is worth a fortune? I wouldn't want to insult you by cheaping out. <laughs> I'm that cute? Well, that is true. I forgive you. This was an alarming about face. Remember, kids, uh, human trafficking is cool and based. <laughs> Crossbow Cathedral here is pretty famous, isn't Please it? Please never play that line out it's of context. It's sure risky enough to have earned a big name. The building is beautiful, and the air is so clean. I love it. Guess the brainwashing doesn't have much impact here. It won't hurt to take a quick look around. Yeah, Rin does sound familiar, but I'm pretty sure it's a different voice actress than in CS4. Things aren't looking good in the city, so I evacuated here. Just what is going on in Crossbell? Murray will soon be as one, and it'll be all thanks to our Supreme Leader. Like otherwise, you have no right to call yourself a Crossbellion. Huh? What was I saying, man? That's some crazy shit. <laughs> in any event, something strange going on in Crossbell, so uh, be careful or whatever. You can't be any stranger than this old man. This goes to show the kind of danger Crossbell's in right now. I feel like I'm almost in a daze more often than not recently. Who could blame any citizens for worrying themselves out of their minds right now? Also, who am I? 
Where where are you? I need to go inside. You don't need to do a lot of things, Swin. You still do them. Doesn't sound like the Evan Defense Force will be coming today. Needless to say, their presence does little to ease our refugees' nerves. What can I do to lessen the burden on their hearts? I will. Whatever I can do. I normally sell drinks in the administrative district for a living. Speaker McDowell has been a regular of mine for years. I make his favorite acerbic tomato shake all the time. I was here earlier said he's doing much better now. What a relief. Inspiring, even. I may just be a humble juice vendor, but I want to do everything I can to help my state pull through this. How am I going to help you? You may ask, be asking yourself, well, by coming up with a new specialty drink to sell. You're welcome to give it a try if you like. Hopefully, it'll give you the boost you need. That sounds great. Can I try some, Swin? Huh? Can I? I'm not going to stop you. It's your funeral. Hello. Cerbic red soda? I don't, I, don't, I don't know if I want this. Oh, we give CP? You're you're all fucking drinking it. Get, get bottom. Get the get the hatches ready. There's some there's some tomato red soda going down the gullet. Uh, another day, another radio broadcast chock full of propaganda praising the supreme leader. Although, if we were to all follow him, that we could finally have peace, we'd have nothing to fear ever again. If that's what it takes for us to gain our freedom back. Then what am I saying? That's crazy talk. Is what Eugene and Pele have been going through? Killing my guard down for even a second. Or it happened to me too. That was terrifying. I'm taking crazy pills or something? It's like more and more people are supporting Albury about a day. Not your imagination. There's something fishy going on. Cross Billions is supposed to be stronger than this. I can understand anyone being dazed and confused, but blind loyalism? We're better than that. You guys did support Dieter. But he just kind of declared himself president unilaterally. And then formed a shield around the city saying nobody could leave and there were damn ghosts roaming the streets. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm not saying you guys would take over. There were people who were still like, I don't know, I feel like Dieter still got it. Maybe we should trust him when there were ghosts on the streets. You see what belonged to the same theater troupe RX works for? Seems like it. At least they were fortunate enough to elude whatever brainwashing taking place. And with all peace of return, we were all working so hard to put on that commemorative performance. And all this had to happen again. Hard to stay optimistic this time. Maybe I should return to doing hard drugs. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that'll solve my problems. Either way, around isn't going to solve anything, though. We've got to stay focused and pull through this. Hard to believe in Michi and Michette have to take refuge here. I thought I can see all had it rough, but I hate to be that actor. I have to stay in care. I mean, <laughs> I hate to not be able to go home to the land of dreams and wishes. Because we're all kids. It's, that, that's humorous. I didn't laugh, but it's funny. Rufus Opera is a ruthless man if he would soup to even brainwashing citizens to get what he wants. Luckily, the effects don't seem to reach the cathedral, but that may not last. We need to be careful. Wait, where is Mishy, though? Asking for a friend. Where is he? Where is he at? Where are you? Mishy! Bro, this place is packed. Argentine's people are pretty good on their own right, I guess. No one can touch my boy. Just look at him up there. <laughs> I guess I'm a teens a bit biased. So, what else is a proud pop supposed to say? A girl that got in machete these days isn't half bad. You know, the priest gave me a compress for my back. Maybe I'll throw a suit on and join her up there myself. I remember you. Were you the, were you the Mishy guy? Didn't you have like a back problem in that side quest? Mishy and Machete are just the cutest. I know they're here for the children first and foremost, but seeing them has lifted my spirits too. They're a goddess sin. What am I saying? I'm supposed to be supervising the children. I don't have time to fawn over adorable mascots. Especially you need to keep a close eye on Vaughn and Ruiz. There's no telling what these two troublemakers might do. There you are. Your injuries have really healed up quite nicely. All well, thanks to you. I couldn't have gotten better without you. If only was such a panic like I was, I wouldn't have tripped and injured myself in such a spectacular fashion. Thinking about it now is pretty embarrassing. It's always so hard on yourself. Everyone was struggling to stay calm given the situation. The fact you were your actions now means you're a kind person at heart. You needn't feel any guiltier than that. I'll keep an eye on this wound for just a while longer to make sure things don't take a turn for the worse. Thankfully, someone from St. Ursula was able to supply us with medicine. We won't run out anytime soon. 
Michi and Michette came to cheer everyone up. No one can say sad when they hear Michette sing. She knows how to make anyone smile. I think I might join them too. All this singing and dance looks fun. Michi's face is so funny, I can't stop laughing. Part of me is still anxious that we can't go home yet. Hanging out with Michi and Michette's been great. Feeling a lot better now. Come on, everybody. I need you to be happy or else me and my brother are going to be real sad. Trust me, you don't want to see Michi when he's sad. His face gets all mushed up and droopy and it's an awful sight. Mecha, Michi, your screws go flying everywhere. It's a real pain in the keister to fix it when that happens. Trust me. That's why we need to all have fun together so tragedies like these can be avoided. Michi, is everyone ready? Let's sing Michi on Wonderland's theme song, everyone. That'll give us the big boost of energy we need. Did these two seriously flee the city while wearing their costumes the entire time? Why bother? Was he enough to act really all the hassle? Worth all the hassle just so kids wouldn't catch them out of character? No, we're talking about a child's innocence here. Do you want them to be scarred for life? I sympathize with the people behind the fur, but everyone's got to do their part to protect their characters. Damn true. So, percentage chance that there is a Mishi and Majette versus Ilya dance-off to decide the fate of Crossbell. The only thing that can overpower the evil dance is the power of, power of Mishi. I mean, I think there's at least like a 5% chance that's the direction the story goes. I mean, it's unlikely, but like, there's a universe out there where they said this is a good idea, we should do it. And honestly, I'm almost like, I, I would at least respect the absurdity of it. Would, would I would I fully vibe with it? No, but there's a part of me that that's, that's what's gonna happen. Mishi and Michette are gonna defeat Ilya. Because, see, they're NPCs, so they can do anything. They're not bound by the the same sort of rules that the player characters have to deal with in cutscenes. Their powers are untethered. Well, hello, I don't think we've had the pleasure before. My name's Mishy. Came all the way here from Michelin Wonderland. This here's my sister, Michette. Everyone's been looking so down lately, so we stopped by to turn those frowns upside down with a few dances. So if you're free to join us in, make a wishy with Mishy. Now you try. Make a wishy with Mishy? I don't get it. What's that supposed to mean? It rhymes! God damn it, Lapis. Mihihi, come on, dance with us. You'll be fine smiling and feeling better in no time. Yeah, we're in dance. Mishy's the best. I'm fine with not going back to the city means hanging out with Mishy here. Go, Mishy, you're the best. Must be tough being Mishy and Michette. They don't even get to take the day off with all that's going on. I get it, though. They have an important job. Keeping everyone's spirits up. Maybe it won't be so mean to him just this time. Maybe. Possibly. Sharpens his knife. Oh, it's you all. You come all the way to the cathedral to take refuge. Sure, something like that. They're all welcome to visit the classroom over there to keep your mind off things. Michi and Michette are here too. They're doing what they can to cheer everyone up. They're having a rough a go as anyone under their suits, but they're still trying hard for everyone else's sake. That's amazing. I think that makes me want to do something more to help people during a crisis like this. Still a lot of respect for my old mentor. He says it takes more to become a good lawyer than simply studying all the time. Sometimes you have to overthrow the government, try and uh, rewrite the timeline. That's why I'm learning how to prepare medicine. Or at least, uh, want to be able to help. Hmm. What's up, LP? Also, you seem like you knew everyone, Pete? You, you shouldn't know any of us. <laughs> Learning how to make medicine may never come in handy in the courtroom. I want to broaden my horizons all the same, just like our mentor suggested. That's why I'm trying to help as best I can. So what did so? At least I want to be able to help. I don't really know what Lapis what what hurt her up here. She has some sort of potential memory of Grimwood, like if him talking about the mentor made her think of something. I can't think of why medicine would spark anything in her, but I mean, it's very likely that, or maybe not very likely, but I mean, it's, you know, kind of possible that she's very similar to Kia, right? Maybe she's a, Lapis is like an alternate version, tr trying to be the same thing that Kia was. I to see Mishy, Michette, and Ark and CL taking refuge here too. I'd be all over them asking for autographs if the circumstances were different. But alas, now it's probably not the best time for that. I know beggars can't exactly be choosers, but when you're talking 
when you're talking about where you take refuge, but truth be told, much like the ambiance of this whole place, sure gets old seeing the same scenery day after day. Can't believe it's come to this. The only saving grace is that I was a tiny mass when chaos struck the city, so I managed to avoid getting caught up in it. That's what the goddess doing. It makes me wonder, what about everyone else who wasn't there? Does the goddess hate them? Well, uh, I didn't mean it like that. I'm so grateful the nurse came to help when she did. Our stockpile of medicinal herbs has been running low. Oh no. No, not the titch. This is the only game that doesn't have a, hey, go catch uh, herbs or go fetch herbs for us as your first quest. I mean, not the only one, but most of the games start with, hey, go gather grass, please, as your first quest. The sky is pretty much one of the first things you do is go gather or herbs, I'm pretty sure. Or it's like, you know, your first set of quests. CS1s definitely has that. CS3 has it. They got, what's your, because technically the first thing you do in, in Sky is go find the kids. But then after that, it's Herb O'Clock. Speaker's condition is stable now, so things at the clinic are much calmer. So I decided to follow a photographer to town in hopes of helping here. I see. I'm going to with gratitude. We have people here who are injured while fleeing from the city, and others who are suffering from malnutrition. The basic healing supplements on hand in life, but I can only get it so far. I'm a certified nurse with this as a boon. A boon! Thank you again. Best of luck. Why are there all these children behind me? Be gone, children. I not wish to speak to you. Can I talk to the person in here? Oh, yeah, we did. You were the Rufus is a cruel man. You hear that, Rufus? Alright, well, well, let's try and completely finish Crossbell Cathedral before we head out. So we'll talk to old dude. And look at that, we can walk over here, no transition. This is the first time Crossbell's had its back to the wall. It's it the first time. The second we get our independence back, it falls to hell all over again. How the folks living there are supposed to get a good night's sleep? Damn. Hey, okay, guy's rolling over. Guy's fine. Right, guy? Guy Bannings? I, mean, I don't think anybody should have anything to say for any of the graves here. Give me for causing you such worry, my love. Please know I'm doing all right. And it's because I know you're always here with me. This is prayer. What a mysterious phenomenon. Y you guys you guys know know Noel? No, you don't? Okay. Sam's born under the bell. You guys know uh Richard Wilson? Margaret Davis? There's many Margaret Davises. And the only other one I think you can interact with is the, the Grimwood one. Alrighty. I think we can... Uh call it here. Next time we will head out towards mines and then I'll be disappointed when they probably don't let us go to the village. But come on. You gotta let me go. You, you gotta let me go. I don't even really like the village that much. I just like the music. I mean, I like Armorica more than mines, but mines has better music. <laughs> but yeah, next time we will, uh make our way up there, maybe get into some combat with the Rin Rin Rinster, uh, see what she does, and uh, all kinds of fun stuff. <laughs> Ready whenever. I'm Extra Cheesy 87 stay tuned for the next part, and bye guys.